Hi, my name is Todd Barron. I'm professor of medicine in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And this year at Digestive Disease Week, I'll be talking about several things. Firstly, I'll be talking about colonic obstruction and enteral stinting. Colonic obstruction, as you know, is a medical emergency. Colonic stints have been increasingly used for the treatment of colonic obstruction, particularly malignant colonic obstruction. And I'll be talking about the role of stinting for both palliation as well as preoperative use. In terms of gastroduodenal stinting, there's more and more literature emerging about the use of duodenal stints, but particularly in combination with biliary stints, because many of these patients have both duodenal obstruction as well as biliary obstruction, and we can manage both biliary obstruction and duodenal obstruction endoscopically. Many of these methods are more complex, including the use of endoscopic ultrasound. And lastly, I'll be talking about the role of endoscopy in eosinophilic esophagitis. Eosinophilic esophagitis is a disease that was really not well described until the last 10 to 12 years and it involves an, an inflammatory process of the esophagus, probably an allergic reaction. Uh, patients are usually young who present with dysphagia, frequently food impactions, and I'll be talking about the role of endoscopy in patients with eosinophilic esophagitis particularly the role of therapeutic endoscopy, need for dilation of strictures or rings, and removal of foreign bodies.